resources that are starting to flow into Minnesota, we also know these funds will leave many areas behind and will leave others still with internet that doesn't meet Minnesota's broadband speed standards. The funding in this bill will provide resources we desperately need to promote economic competitiveness and equity in employment, healthcare, and education across Minnesota. We are disappointed, however, that the funding amount is not closer to Governor Dayton's $100 million proposal or the Senate's $85 million recommendation. I know the committee may be considering an amendment that would remove the current $5 million per project funding cap, which would make this funding level even more concerning. I also wanted to quickly note a few points on the broadband policy provision in this bill, which I know you'll be discussing in greater detail today. First, the deed opposes the incumbent rights of first refusal provisions as currently drafted. These changes, which would require border-to-border -border broadband development grant program applicants to submit their proposals to incumbent carriers, would be problematic for our applicants who do not wish to share their proprietary business data. Applicants may view this requirement as so detrimental that the application process would not be worth their investment. DEED shares the committee's goal of ensuring that state dollars are not duplicative of federally funded CAP 2 projects. Given the existing challenge process that provides incumbents the opportunity to weigh in on grant proposals, However, we believe this language is not necessary to achieve that goal. On a more positive note, I know you'll be considering whether to include the Governor's Task Force on Broadband uh, 20, 2022 and 2026 goals in this bill, and I would strongly encourage members to support that change. These goals serve as the policy backbone of the Border to Border Broadband Development Grant Program, and updating them is essential to advance Minnesota's leadership position among other states and countries. We do, however, have some serious concerns about the significant cuts to our major economic development programs included in this bill. The Minnesota Investment Fund and the Job Creation Fund are these bread and butter economic development.